Hello, hello, this is Ragnon, and this is uh, the next part in our EVE Online tutorial series. Uh, last time we looked at a military mission and we went out and shot some pirates. Uh, let's look at another category of um, missions and, and things to do in the game. Again, these missions are kind of an introduction to things that you can do in the game. Um, you can... You can uh, these are kind of you're breaking into doing player versus player or ratting, which is killing NPC uh, pirates for money. Uh, business. This game has one of the most incredible economies of any video game because every every ship that's produced, every bullet that fi that's fired, um, everything in the game is produced by players for players, and there's logistics involved. So if you're interested in mining and making money and and hauling and all that good stuff, uh, there's a great great um, set of things to do in this game and industry is paired with that that's making things uh, so let's go ahead and actually do a industry one I believe this is where we get our first mining ship yes uh, we don't get it yet but let's take a look at how to mine and start doing the uh, I guess people call it the care bear side of the game um, it's the non-aggressive you want to make stuff you're focused on being productive so for this mission, we need to go out and we need to mine some Veldspar, which is very basic ore. Uh, we already have a miner equipped to our ship. We should, from when we uh, when you have your default um, ship, you have a miner equipped to it. If you have completed more missions and you're in a different ship, you can actually uh, equip the miner that was just given to you. Uh, he should have given you a miner, which you can access by going to your inventory, going to your item hanger, which is your uh, station hanger. All these items in your station hanger are just for you to see. You have an infinite amount of stuff that you can store in each station, and each station is unique. So uh, if you wanted these items and you're in another solar system, well, you're going to have to bring a ship over and transport them over. So you kind of got to pay attention to where your stuff is stored. But if you needed another miner, that's where you can access it. And since we got this gun in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and equip it because it's better. So I just unequipped my basic gun, and I'm going to equip this new one to its space. And I need some ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and load it. And then the rest I'm going to throw in my inventory uh, so that I have more shots. This, uh, Oh, and that miner is actually better, I believe. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and trade it out for this miner because that's actually a better it's a much better mining laser I think I might be wrong if you want to check what your uh, modules do you can right click on it and show info and we can go down to attributes and this mines 15 cubic meters within 30 seconds this one mines 46 within a minute so pretty good I'm gonna keep this one we're gonna go ahead and undock and do the mining mission. So first things first, we need to go to uh, somewhere where we can mine. There's no asteroids by station. So a couple options that we can do. This has a location for us to go to, um, but I want to show you how to get to it by default if you didn't know. At any time, you can right click on any place in space and this shows you all the different things that you know about that you can warp to. The asteroid belts, there are lots of asteroid belts that you can warp to. There are planets, and each of these planets, generally there's not anything that you can do on the planet, but around each planet is a set of asteroid belts. Uh, and then there's several stargates. This one only has one, leading to Eister. And then your station. There might be several stations, this one only has one. You can get to all of this by on your um, overview panel. I just wanted to show you another way to do it. You can also click on this tab right here that's by default mining. And this shows you all the different asteroid belts that you can warp to. I'll just warp to one for now to show you. And then we'll warp to the one for our... Um, for our mission. It doesn't matter where you mine it. If you mine it somewhere else uh, I don't think that the game gets mad at you and doesn't complete it. As long as we show up to the agent with the Veldspar that we need, we can complete it. 
if you're really cheap and you hate mining and you just want to get it done to get the ISK, uh, you can actually buy it on the market. But I think the prices might be inflated for starter zones because people will try to scam newer players into playing or paying way above what it's worth. You should be okay, but I would advise you learn how to do it rather than just buying your way through. All right, so you'll notice that there are lots of asteroids that showed up on our mining tab. Uh, and it's all Veldspar. That's what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and approach a Veldspar. You can either click approach or I just double clicked on it. Double click on, on something makes you approach that location. And since we don't have a propulsion mod, we're very slow, but that's okay. We need to get within 10 kilometers of it. There's actually a set of opportunities for this. We'll go ahead and look at that. Time to mine. There we go. Orbit an asteroid. All right, we're gonna go ahead and orbit the asteroid. It looks cool when you do this, but actually, when you're mining, um, as an industrialist, a lot of times people do something called jet canning, which is when you sit out in space and you sit still and you mine until your inventory's full, and then you take it and you jettison it. You don't actually destroy it. You jet when you jet something it packs it up into a little can and shoots it off into space and it just sits there. And what you do is you do that for a long time and then eventually you, either you come back with a hauling ship or you have a friend that's hauling for you and you transport it all in one go so they don't have to make a million trips back to station. So orbiting the asteroid like this looks cool. You can click on it and it'll, the camera will fixate on it. But when you're actually doing real mining uh, you may not be doing this. This is a good way to avoid if, if uh, NPC pirates show up and start shooting your ship, though. All right, to start mining, we have to lock the asteroid. So you can either control click it out here, or you can click on it up here. There's several ways to lock it, but I'm going to go ahead and control click on the overview. All right, we've got it locked. So it's our ship is saying we want to um, mine this asteroid right here. Uh, whenever you have something locked, it shows up up here on the top part of your screen. And then now we need to activate the laser. I don't think you can make a mistake and activate your guns, but if you could, you could shoot down the asteroid. Let me try. Hey, it's shooting down the asteroid. We don't want to do that. It did zero damage, though. It's not actually going to do anything to the asteroid. Um, so we want to activate our mining laser. We're going to go ahead and orbit this, and we're going to... Uh, you'll notice that there is a circle going around the edge of the module and when it completes it's going to fill up our inventory with a little bit of ore approximately 46 cubic meters because it says down here 46 cubic m3 which is cubic meters per 60 seconds so it takes it 60 seconds to go around one cycle and it's going to mine uh, 46 cubic meters. Each asteroid has a different size per cubic meter. So if I look at this and I click show info, it says um, each Veldspar is 0.10 cubic meters. So we just completed one round, one cycle, and it gave us 460. That's great. We need for our uh, quest, our mission, I think it was a thousand. Yep, we need a thousand. So we need uh, just a little over one more cycle. So we'll go ahead and wait that out for two. And we finish this opportunity. Sure, I'll suggest another one. Time to fight. No, let's pick another one. Let's go ahead and go to... Oh, I don't care. Navigating. Let's finish up this navigating one. Activate autopilot. Oh, great. We'll do that on our way back. So I'm still mining. It, it does another cycle by default if you don't have your inventory full. So it's going to go ahead and fill this up. What I like to do with my inventory while I'm in space is I actually like to keep it out. You can fit it in. You don't have to do this. This is just the way that I fly. And I put it right here. And there's a view called Enable Contact uh, Compact Mode. If I click on that button, it shows all my in things that I have in my current ship inventory. And this blue bar shows how much more space I still have. Um, the screen in uh, EVE is very, very um, personalizable. 
everybody's screen looks different because every pilot has their own preference on how their screen looks. I like having my inventory op open and I like clicking this little button that says pin and that makes it so that it's a little bit more transparent and I can't move, oh, I can move it because I don't have that setting on. I have to go to general settings, lock windows when pinned. That makes it so I can't accidentally move it. Once I've pinned it down, it's going to stay right here until I unpin it. If I want to move it, I have to unpin it and move it. All right, we've got our 1000 volts bar. Our mining laser deactivates because our inventory is full. Let's go ahead and go back to station. A couple ways I could do that. I could either right click in space and go to stations here, dock, or I can go over here to my general tab, click on the station, which is the square, click dock, or since I'm uh, doing a mission right now, I can look at where this mission location ends right here with the objective and agent base and click dock. When I'm doing missions I generally like to do that so I make 100% sure that I'm not wasting time going to the wrong place. But the other two ways I showed you are primary ways of getting to another location um, when you're not doing missions. It doesn't matter. There's lots of ways to do things in the EVE. Uh, there's multiple ways to do just about any task so that um, sometimes it's easier to use the overview, sometimes it's easier to right click in space. We're going to go ahead and dock. Slowly. And talk to the industry mission guy. Complete mission. Oh, there we go. It says right here. Transfer the Veldspar from your ore hold to your item hanger to complete it. So we just mined it. We don't want to keep it in our ship. We want to actually give it to him. So we've got to put it in the item hanger. And since it's a mission, he's going to go ahead and take it from us. Right? Uh, I'm not sure that's why that's not doing it. I think it's because we cheated and we went to an asteroid belt instead of the actual location. It's glitchy. Oh well. Let's go to the location and then we'll just come back. Just to make sure that uh, I'm not going to hit that bug again, I'll actually go ahead and mine another thousand. It's not bad to have more Veldspar. That means we can build more stuff later. Uh, there will actually be more missions where we need more Veldspar to have enough to make a ship and w make whatever we're going to make. I don't think we make a ship. I think we make uh, like a gun or something. I don't remember what we make. But just going to quickly lock this Veldspar, mine the Veldspar, and I'll see you back in station. All I'm going to do is mine another thousand, then dock back up, and hopefully he'll be happier with us then, since we didn't shortcut. Okay, we're back in station. Let's see if he's happier with us now that we went to the location. Yes, he is. All right, so we completed it. Uh, we just got 160,000 ISK off that with a bonus reward of 132,000 because we completed it within the time limit. Uh, you'll notice that this mission had collateral, which meant that we gave him one ISK, which is not anything, but some missions have more. As collateral, um, it's pretty much your promise that I'm going to complete this mission. Um, this is kind of a... a a preview into player interactions where you might put up collateral to uh, say that you're going to fulfill a contract or something and you'll get it back when you've completed it for another player. Alright, we're going to go ahead and request one more mission because let's see if we get our, yes we do, Venture. Uh, this is the starter miner ship. It's a beast. It's great. Um, for a for starter ship, it's a very fun mining ship. It's got great bonuses for mining. Um, it's got plus two bonus for ship warp core strength which means it can 
warp off even if somebody's got you tackled, um, generally, depending on how many people have tackled you. Let's go ahead and do this quickly. It says we need to acquire 150 Tritanium in order to get that. So it says if, you, if you're confused about the uh, objectives, you can read over here and uh, read a bit more. It says when you go out there, mine some Veldspar, and then reprocess it here at the station and give me the results. Lucky for us, that mistake actually helped us out. We actually have another thousand, um, over a thousand Veldspar because of uh, needing to go back and mine, so that's where it came in handy. The way that you reprocess it is uh, we can't we can't use this to make stuff. We don't make stuff with Veldspar. We make stuff with the minerals that Veldspar is reprocessed into. We gotta break it down and make it something usable. So we have to right click on it and click on reprocess. It brings us to this page when we reprocess it. Currently through our skills and maybe the station, we're only gonna get a 47.5% efficiency yield out of it. Uh, not the best, but you don't really have any other options right now. As you upgrade your skills and as you go to different uh, stations and maybe you upgrade your solar system, um, if you're in a corporation that's focused on industry, you might have a station that's really good at reprocessing and, and you can get very high uh, yield. But for right now, it's it'll do. We're going to get 2,169 Tritanium from that. That's awesome. So we'll go ahead and reprocess it. Um, Oh, by the way, this is a good time to show this. You'll show at the bottom, see at the bottom it says that the Veldspar is worth about 19,500 ISK, whereas the Tritanium that we're refining from it is only 13,400. We can't make stuff with Veldspar, but if you're only focused on making ISK, if you're starting off, you probably want to sell just the raw ore and let people that have better reprocessing skills um, make it into Tritanium and all the different minerals that are used to make stuff. But if you're interested in making stuff, then work on your skills for that, and uh, practice makes perfect. So we're going to go ahead and reprocess it. We have our Tritanium now. We're going to go ahead and talk to him, because we have way more than we need. We only needed 150. Complete the mission, and we've got our new venture. You'll notice it doesn't change the page much, but we actually completed it, and it says down here, request mission. I'm not going to request one right now, because I'm not wanting to start another industry mission. I just want to hop in my new ship. In my inventory, you'll notice there's this top page is your sh current ship's inventory. Your drone bay is a, a bay for drones within your ship. You don't need to worry about that for now because we don't have drones. And then there's your ship hangar. This is all the ships that are docked in this station. I could have an infinite amount of ships here. Right now I just have my starter ship and my brand new one, the Venture. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to unpackage it and then double click again to hop into it. We are now in our brand new ship, the Venture. Um, your starting miner ship. We're going to go ahead and rename it by right clicking on it or right clicking on it out here. Change the name to, I like doing SS on my ships. I'm going to name it the SS. Uh, we'll just do the name of one of my other ships, Tycoon. SS Tycoon. Um, now, as we get hopped in the ship, if we look at our ship fitting page, we don't have anything equipped right now. We need some mining lasers, so we'll go, let's go to item hangar. We've got a civilian miner. We can equip by just dragging it. Uh, as you hover over it, I'm going to equip it real quick so you can see, there are three little slashes which means that it goes in your high slots. They match up with the amount of slashes on the um, page, uh, page over here. So this ship can fit three high slot modules, but there are these tiny circles up here called turret hard points. That's the amount of physical spots on your ship that can fit a turret. A mining laser counts as a turret, so we're going to go ahead and equip it, and it should pop up on the ship somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Yep, and if we move it, you see it moves to a different turret hard point. That's what those call, are called. Um, so this ship only has two turret hard points, even though it has three high slots. So if we go, and let's go ahead and get our other miner off our Reaper. So I'm going to double, I'm going to 
uh, make active so that I can access that fitting page real quick. I'm going to steal this miner off of it because we don't need it on that ship. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my other ship, my venture. Go to the item hanger. There's the. Oh, what did I do? Oh, here it is in the inventory. I'm going to drag it. Now the ship has two miners. I'm good to go. I don't have any other modules right now, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and undock with this. I think we'll end the video in a second here, but I just want to show you undocking in our first brand new ship. Depending on the order that you did the missions, you might have a different ship. So I'm undocked in my brand new ship, and I've got two miners equipped. So this is an example of how I'm flying a ship that's fit for a different role. The bonuses for this ship, if we show info and um, look at this page over here, there's bonuses to mining yield, to gas cloud harvesting, and then it has a roll bonus of a 100% bonus to mining and glass cloud harvesting yield. So very good for mining, uh, much better than our rookie ship. So we'll end the video there. I'm going to go ahead and redock back up. And we'll just end it here. Um, so join us next time for another uh, tutorial video. Hopefully looking at some more of the missions and some other topics that are relevant for starting off in EVE.